So speaking of using these node graphs again, we still have another piece of this object to bake over here, and that is our base part here. So let's go ahead and see how we can go about baking these things and reducing them together and UVing them together in a way that makes sense. So we already have these pieces ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the simple baker node. We'll do that again in a minute. But we have our high-res geometry for this side ready to go. Now we need to do the high-res, the game res on this side of the geometry. Like I said, luckily, all we need to do is we can alt-drag out this voxel mesh node. And I'm going to go ahead and raise this back up. We don't need to see that anymore. And I'm going to take this base geo here and just plug it into that voxel mesh. So we're going to voxelize the base geo this time. Let's go ahead and make that visible. So here it is with those voxelized settings we used previously. I think that'll work just fine. And now in order to make it a little bit easier to possibly keep these two separate sides organized, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all these nodes here and I'm going to drag them down. I'm going to hit tab and I'm going to make a name node, hit enter. I'm going to plug a name node into here. And now I'm going to do another one. Go ahead and uh, hit enter to do name node. I'm just going to drop that right in between those two. It'll go ahead and automatically link them. So we have our base geo side, we have our pieces geo side for this name here. I'm going to say this name is going to be pieces and this name is going to be base. And again, just like we did up here, if you wanted to, you can just double click these and say base and pieces. So we voxelize them separately, but now we want to poly reduce and UV them together. And that makes sense because if you poly reduce them at the same time, you'll be able to get a complete polygon count with both of them. And then of course you want to UV them together so they share the same zero to one UV atlas. In order to do that, let's hit tab and then drop in a merge node. And we're going to merge these two name nodes into one. And now if I make this one visible, you're going to see those two voxelized mesh meshes are now one. And now I'm going to take this merge node here and I'm going to drop it right into that poly reduce. Let's go ahead and select that and make that visible. And over here I'm going to hit shift W. And just like we did when we had it on the single object, go ahead and change your percentages or your total polygon count as needed. Let's go ahead and move these down. And because we've already had this set up, it's already gone through and UV'd it for me. So all I got to do is hit spacebar 5. And I can go ahead and see that the UVs that it's created out of that object. And then spacebar 1 to go back to our object here. Again, if we want to visualize those, we can go ahead and just toggle that on with our seams created. And now we're ready to bake. 